Are you looking for a meal solution tonight? In this week's Taste the Difference, Amy Tobin serves up a delicious stir fry. That's sure to please the whole family and add a little spice to your dinner table. Hi, I'm Amy Tobin. Nothing beats a quick and easy stir fry, and I have one to share with you today. It's an orange beef featuring certified Angus beef brand bottom round. It's an economical cut, wonderful for stir fries. You could also use ribeye or flank steak or New York strip. Now, what you want to start with is slicing the beef into thin slices. And here's a tip for you. It makes it a little bit easier if you want to throw it in the freezer for about 30 minutes before you start. It just firms up the beef makes it easier to just get nice thin slices. Then you want to slice each piece into bite-sized pieces. Once your beef is sliced, you want to go ahead and season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Now one of the most important things about stir fry is having everything ready to go before you start. So for one pound of beef, you're looking for about four cups of your favorite vegetables chopped. You do want to chop the longer cooking vegetables in smaller pieces and the faster cooking vegetables in larger pieces. That way you can add them all at once. So for every pound of beef, four cups of chopped vegetables. And then for really great flavor, authentic flavor, you're looking for some aromatics that will include some ginger, garlic, and scallions. The stir fry sauce is super easy. It starts with a little bit of cornstarch for thickening and of course a little soy sauce for a salty background. Just whisk that together first and then add the rest. We're talking some sugar, oyster sauce, a little bit of sesame oil, more of minced ginger, some broth, and then here's what makes the orange sauce orange some orange juice concentrate thawed. It adds great intense orange flavor. Your favorite Chinese restaurant has a secret in the kitchen and that's a sizzling hot wok burner. So you wanna make sure you get your wok good and sizzling hot as well. You really wanna hear it just explode when you put the meat in. So we're gonna start with a tablespoon of a peanut oil or a vegetable or canola oil. Get that good and hot and in goes the meat. Now notice you're just gonna stir fry it until it no longer looks raw because there'll be some carryover cooking when we take it back out of the pan. Let's transfer that into a bowl. And remember, all stir fries happen in batches. Add a bit more oil to the wok and then in go our vegetables. And you know what, if your pan starts to look a little bit dry, you can consider adding water instead of more oil to keep that stir fry good and healthy. And then after about a minute, in go our aromatics and they're smelling great. And just keep cooking until your vegetables are crisp tender. Three to four minutes is fine. Return the beef to the pan and just let it go long enough, about 30 seconds for the flavors to all mingle back together. And then in goes our sauce and we're just going to cook it until it's thickened and then transfer the whole mix over a platter of white rice, garnish it with some chopped oranges, and enjoy. For these recipes and more, visit CertifiedAngusBeef.com. Coming up next, a Northwestern family proves that a commitment to quality beef is a family effort. <laughs> 